Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the country's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And we've got one for you today. Sam Bailey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How really nice good. to see you again. You are in my top 10 most popular stars ever, which is extraordinary, bearing in mind we've had 49 million minutes viewed. It's quite incredible. Oh, really? That's, that's good going. You're still here and you're still relevant and you're about to appear in Peter Pan at yeah. the De Montford Hall, which is this beautiful venue, a family pantomime, and you're the star of it. It must be nice being you. It, it's, it is good. This year's like completely completely different to years that I've done this is the first year that I'm doing panto where I'm actually kind of in it more um, being a fairy role is you know you just come on and you've got glitter all over your face you wave your wand you say your lines and you go off again and I've not really had anything last year I wasn't really conversational with anyone and um, so I spoke to the producers and spoke to Imagine Theatre and said is there any way that I could be in it more and they was like okay then so I think people are going to get a bit of a surprise when they see exactly how much I'm in it you're very strange because most stars are happy to sit in their dressing room on the Twitter and Facebook you actually want to work harder I do I want to be in it I said look take the mickey out of me do what you've got to do make me the butt of everybody's jokes I don't care and uh, yeah they've gone to town believe me they've gone to town (laughs) you are one of the most likable most talented stars i've ever met and also most ordinary and most people do the ordinary shtick as an act you really are yourself and you don't care do you you're just sam bailey no it's like you know you turn up today and you're like oh we're gonna film this and and i'm like yeah film it you don't want to put your makeup on no i'm in rehearsals why would i want to do that so No, take me as I am. I guess that's liberating because whereas everybody else is wasting all this time caring, you're just you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you know, we're all all human beings at the end of the day, you know, I've got my Leicester shirt on today, I'm love, you know, Um, but I I just, I'm I'm just normal, you know, when people say to me like you're a celebrity, I'm, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like I'm a celebrity, I think I'm just lucky, you know, just, I'm just a lucky person and, um, you know, people, people like that, so... We've got a lot to cover in the next hour and a half. We're going to sit here talking. Let's start with the panto. Peter Pan this year. Panto's panto, really. We're there for big laughs. We're there for a family sort of atmosphere. What do we get with this panto this year that we might not have had before? For a start, you've got the most amazing kids in this show. I, they came to rehearsals on the first day and they, they first arrived and they showed everybody their dance routine. So there's two teams and they got up and started performing and I cried. I generally cried. I sobbed like a baby. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, they give you a spectacular show as well. What's great about Panto now, it used to be sort of a bit crap in the old days. It used to sort of be a back cloth and then a few actors. Now they really put a lot of money into the production oh of it. Oh my gosh, it Must yeah. be thrilling to be well, part of a big show. Uh, you've got Peter Pan this year, so what does P- Peter Pan do? Well, there you go. I'm saying no more. And I don't want to give too much away, but I mean, I asked if I could fly, but they said they didn't have a big enough rope. So like, now I'm joking. Um, um, I, that was actually my joke. But um, I, I just think this year is going to be spectacular. There's lots of fun in it. It's very Mel Brooks, a little bit in the sense of slapstick and, and funniness. And you've got Kev Orky and Kev Kennedy Martin Ballard, myself, and a great cast of ensemble characters and, and some great dancers and a great team. And the director's really putting us to work this week. And, um, and, it, and I've not stopped laughing from the, because I get to my line and then I sort of get the joke and I'm like, ah, that's really funny. And then we're adding things in. And, I, and I'm, I'm like toilet talk. I like a bit of toilet talk. So the odd Trump noise it really makes me laugh. And there's scenes where I've got, oh, can we put a trump in there? Can we put a fart noise in? And can we have one of those really squeaky like ones that goes in it like this? And they're like, yeah, we'll do that. And I'm like, brilliant. And I, it just makes me laugh so much. It really does. You are an astonishing singer Thank and a beautiful you. star. Thank you so much for your Bless time. Bless you. Thank you.